In this video, I want to show you how to embed a YouTube video just like this in Kajabi. And so in this case, this is being embedded on my blog, but I want to show you how to embed it in two different places. One is your blog on Kajabi, and the second one is a product that you have on Kajabi. So if you want to take your own content from YouTube and further promote it out on your blog, you can. If you want to take your content and add it as a bonus to your course, you can. So let's jump into this. And, and right before we get started, I do want to let you know, if you haven't signed up for Kajabi, you can get um, a Kajabi 30-day free trial using my link below. I'm going to have two things open. One, I'm going to go to my Kajabi here. The other one is I'm going to go to my YouTube studio, and we're just going to pick a video that I'm going to embed. So I'm going to go to my content here, and then I'm just going to choose a video. And so what I actually want to do is I'm going to go to these three dots on whatever video it is I want to embed, and I'm going to click view on YouTube. What you want is this share. And so you're going to click the share and then you're going to click embed. And this is what's going to give you the code to embed this video onto your Kajabi. So in here, I can click this. I can also edit this a little bit so I can start it at a specific time point. So if I have a blog that only talks about one section of this video, I can quickly start it at that time point. And then whenever they go to click play, it's going to start at that time point, not the entire blog. So I'm going to allow this. I want to embed the whole thing here. And you can show player controllers so they can play, pause, all of those things. So I'm just going to click all of this and click copy. So I'm going to show you how to embed this both in a Kajabi blog and in a product post as well. So let's go to my Kajabi and we're going to go to website and then blog. And I am just going to create a new post for this example. And I'm not going to select video up here. This is if I want to upload a video. Instead, what I'm going to do is come into the source code here and click that. And I am just going to, you can either right click and paste or hit control V, either will work and click OK. And now you can see that it's showing me this in its preview here. I'm going to give it a quick title so that we can preview it. So I'm going to save it real quick and I'm going to go to preview. Now you can see that this blog post has this YouTube video embedded in it. So I can just click play and it's going to start my YouTube video there. So now I want to show you how to embed this into your product post as well. So we're going to go back and instead of going to my website, I'm going to go to my products. I'm still going to keep that same bit of code. And in this case, I'm going to go to one of my products that isn't running anymore. And I'm going to add a piece of content in here and I want to add a lesson. And so the title of the lesson, I'm just going to throw in test, create the lesson real quick. So once I click on the lesson, what you can see is that this has video audio assessment. Again, I don't want to click this video, even though I'm embedding a video onto the actual page. So instead I'm going to click the source code and I'm going to paste again and click OK. And so now you can see the same thing you were seeing before. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to preview it. And you can see that in this one, I have the video right here. And you can see that this is actually in a different theme than a typical Kajabi theme. It's a theme that I bought, but you can see it's right here and I can play it here as well for people to be able to use. Now, the good thing to know is that you can have your embedded YouTube videos there even if you have a main video or anything like that. You just need to have this description block available. So if you have an assessment or an audio file or a video file, all you need to do is put it within the description so you can actually have multiple videos in a row. So if I wanted to add another video in here, so I'm going to say 
you know, this is me talking about something, you know, and then say, okay, now I want them to watch another video. So good just gonna come here real quick. Let's say I want them to watch this video next. So view on YouTube, let this load. And again, all I'm gonna do is come down here and grab this embed share code. Copy it. And now this is gonna look a little bit different because when you go into your source code, you don't just wanna paste in here. You wanna paste it in at the right space. So you can see this is for this. And you can see this is where I have my sentence and this is an enter here. So I'm just going to press enter and then I'm going to paste below the last sentence I was talking about so that it'll show a video, my sentence, and then another video. And I can click OK. Now you can see this has my sentence and then another video. And what I could do is actually make this like a header and say, OK, this is, you know, or I don't know, organizing on Notion. And then I can actually insert in here by just taking this piece of code and pasting it up here. That's just going to give me this one line indent. And now I can write something about this article. So we're going to say this is summarizing research articles. And I'm just going to make this also a header. And then we're going to save and preview this. And so this is going to look like just a series of videos that's appearing here, right? So you have the title here. You could even have some paragraph sentences under it talking about why you should watch this video. And then you have this one occurring. And so if you want to generate posts or blog posts like this, this is how you would do it just by embedding all of those YouTube videos. So this is exactly how um, you want to do this. My suggestion is if you are putting it within your course, since there's already a paywall to access your course, I would really recommend turning the monetization off that video or re-uploading the video and turning that monetization off. You can leave it on. It's just people are paying to watch ads. So just some thoughts from me. But if you want to get started with Kajabi and you haven't yet, you can check out, there will be a link in the description below. And I hope that this helped you to be able to embed your YouTube videos anywhere that you want on Kajabi. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.